Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lothian Singh and today we are going to discuss about Elastic Bean Stock which is a quite famous service of AWS and this is basically develop, uh, developer centric. It means those people who are working as developer but they still want to launch their own environment. They simply want to have their environment and uh, their website to be running so they can go with Elastic Bean Stock. But before starting this topic, I would like to request you guys please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries, so please do let me know by writing in comment box on YouTube channel. I will be happy to resolve that. Fine. So now let us talk about what is Elastic Bean Stock. First of all, you should understand that this is a regional service. It means you will have to select a region before starting for this service. Fine. So you go to dashboard and after that you will have to click on Elastic Bean Stock. Now let me explain what is Elastic Bean Stock. It means if you have your code ready and you are not familiar with AWS console or maybe the particular architecture, architecture which, is, which is required to install or to run your application. You don't know how to install Apache, you don't know how to install MySQL or you have no idea about how to log into server or how to create users which, uh, which will be running your application and all. Then AWS Elastic Bean Stock is best option for you. Fine, so now how to get get started with that. So just click on this icon and there will be only three steps. First of all, select platform. For example, you want to run your application on Windows, application, you want to have MySQL and all. After that, upload an application or uh, yes, use a sample. So here for this environment, I'm going to use sample application. And after that, run it. That is it. That is it, uh, what you are going to do. So you can select your application like PHP, Ruby, and uh, you can have Tomcat, Node.js, and so on. Whatever you want, you can start with. So first of all, let us click on Get Started. Application name, I'm going to give it, give it Lokendra. I'm going to give my name here. OK, select platform, what you want, like Docker, multiple container you want, Elastic, Beanstalk, Packet Builder, Go, Node.js. So for this tutorial guys, I'm going to select Node.js as a platform. Okay, you want to run your sample application or you want to upload your on code. If you have your on code available, so you can do like, you can click on upload your code and you can upload a zip or zwar file, whatever you want. So for this tutorial, I'm going to upload sample application and just create application. But in the meanwhile, let me tell you if you want to configure some more options, so you can configure. If you have basic idea about load balancing, if you have basic idea about rest of the stuff like what sort of software you want, like what version of uh, Node.js you want, do you want AWS X-ray disabled or enabled? X-ray means uh, it will let you have the feature available that, that will basically let you know the quality of your code. Instance, so what type of instance you want, you can modify. Okay, then after uh, if you want it to micro container and also uh, these sort of services are available for you. You can go and you can click here. You can select this one. Okay, if you want, okay, let I will have to write the name again. And uh, platform Node.js, I'll have to select once again. And uh, yeah, rest of options we were discussing about that. What other options do you get? You can go for capacity planning, load balancer, you can have rolling updates and deployments. You can go here, security network notification email address and rest of the stuff you can configure here so it is not about like you can upload on your static sites if you want you can configure a dynamic site as well using aws elastic bean stock fine so let us create application i am going to create this this will take couple of moments couple of minutes it will take this is a particular dashboard where you will be able to see like what all stuff we are going to get and all fine so this can take approximately three to four minutes to launch this application. Once this will be launched, uh, uh, I will explain you further that what to do and how to do in the in the same in the same fashion. I'm going to let you know like how you can terminate your environment. This 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 option will be activated once this application once this application gets created. So these options like load configuration, 
or safe configuration swap environment urls clone environment and also this particular feature will be available for you for example if you have your code available and you want to update that or you have modified your code now you need to take restart so what you can do is you can restart application server and that will get restarted if you want to rebuild your environment you have some you have made some modification like you have updated node.js version or uh, like you have mysql version updated and something where restart is required so you can rebuild your environment and all if you want to have multiple environment in the same fashion as you have this one so what you can do is you can clone this environment and you can create new environment using this swap environment urls for example if you have couple of uh, environment running and you want to swap urls you will have to click on this option and this will uh, provide you feature to swipe url from one environment to another okay so as we can see here like create environment is starting using elastic bin stock this is this particular Amazon S3 for in keeping environment data and all elastic IP has been provided to this so this can take couple of moments so you need not to refresh this page keep on uh, just keep an eye on this and that will be ready for you in the meanwhile I'm going to explain like what others other options you can do with this and like what else can be done here so let me show you I'm going to configure one another environment here create new environment and here I'm going to let you know like what other stuff you can create select environment here uh, web server environment I'm going to have here so environment one I'm going to create and the particular feature which I want to tell you is this it means I will select a platform for example node.js and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you that how to create or how to modify this particular setting fine so if you want that uh, like load balancer should be there as I don't have any load balancer yet so I cannot select any rolling updates and deployments if you want to modify this you can like deployment policy immutable or all at once like you have a couple of environment running and you want that your updates should be rolled out at once so you can select this option otherwise you can select number of servers and number of environment for deployment after that rolling out update disabled so you can go for immutable it means as and when required you can go for your environment deployment after that ignore health checks okay if any environment is fail due to health check failure so do you want to ignore that or do you want to deploy on that server as well like uh, command timeout when your aws console or aws apis tries to hit your environment and that seems to be down so how long should it wait so you can configure here this particular option as well after that if you talk about security if you talk about network so rest of feature you can modify here and you can create your environment for example if you want to have database so database will let you know the let you have the feature that it will synchronize with rds it means relational database service configuration it will let you have if you have any snapshot so you can configure using that or mysql engine you want to have you went to oracle postgres like sql ex or whatever server you want to have then after version what you want to have then db instance like t2 micro you want to have username password and like uh, retention snapshot you want to have or not so all the stuff whatever you can configure there on the platform of aws uh, when you are working with RDS so same environment you can create here and you can start utilizing your you can start utilizing these features in your elastic bin stock application you want to have high availability it means you will have at least two instances and with auto scaling and instance which will be modified between one to four it means minimum one instance will be there at a time and maximum it can be four but if you want to modify so for sure you can modi modify this this will be available within both the regions load balance single instance or multiple so all the options are in your hands see if you have a bit information about your environment so you can configure it yourself but if you if you don't have that much information if you don't have that much in knowledge available so you can start working with your servers okay fine so successful launch environment and this will give you the url of your machine so if you simply copy this much this ip address and if you try to paste this in url 
so obviously this should give you the particular look and feel of your application fine so what is it it did is like it created one environment for you and your application is ready to be used now what you need to do is you need to point this particular IP address as a record for your domain like if you have your domain registered and you want to point this particular environment using your RDS or uh, sorry using your route 53 so you can point this IP address and your site will be live within a while fine so that is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you have any questions so please write in comment box I, I shall be happy to respond to that so that is it for this video have a good time happy learning and keep on watching server again like share and subscribe to this channel and do not forget to share this channel information with your friends as they will be learning and thank you very much have a good time